All right, YouTube. Back at it on the Silverado. Has some serious issues going on. Transmission and stuff like that. But I'm trying something while my truck's parked. I got a different car to drive around. <clears throat> but I wanted to uh, give something a shot on this. The transmission's like interlocked with 5,000 other things on here along with all the intake and everything else with computers and whatnot. So I wanted to uh, try something. I, don't, I honestly, I don't think it's going to work to fix my problem on my transmission. But um, I figured it was worth a shot anyway. So I'm going to take the throttle body off, actually, clean it. And also, this little throttle body position sensor on the side, it's got a plug that plugs into it. Uh, I'm going to take that and replace it as well. So for anybody with the 5.3, process should be pretty much the same intake's going to look a little bit different uh, unless you got the specter cold air intake but there's four bolts to hold this thing on there's two on the top and there's two down on the bottom i already took those two out there's a plug on the side of this position sensor here you pull this gray tab back and then uh, push down on this piece here and then it pulls off and then this is held on with these little doohickeys, but I'm not going to do it while it's actually mounted on here. I did unhook the battery because uh, I'm also just trying to get this PCM to reset and everything as well. So uh, unplug that battery. Uh, you don't have to take the positive terminal off. I did, uh, but you can do whatever. I've also heard to reset it. Uh, you can also... Um, um, my brain is blanking. Oh, turn the lights on, and then anything that's left over juice-wise, it'll drain out. I don't know if that's necessary or not. It's just something I read. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remove those, finish taking off these top two here, uh, and then we'll get to it. All right, so I got this thing off. 10 mil bolts uh, and a couple nuts there on top, if you're curious. This thing definitely has some carbon buildup in it, as you can see. This is the front side. The part that faces the outboard. Uh, this is the part that faces the engine. Uh, you can see definitely some of that carbon buildup and all that good stuff. So I got this can. Never tried this stuff before, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Carb throttle body cleaner. Um, I had some carb cleaner, but I thought it best just to go ahead and try something to set throttle body on it. Um, spray it in there, soak it really good. Uh, if you got a toothbrush, this works a little bit better, but unfortunately I couldn't find a toothbrush. So we're just going to use uh, some paper towels and whatnot, wipe it out really good. This is the replacement, and this is the uh, standard, is what it's called. It's from Amazon. It's got really good reviews, um, so we'll try this out and see how it goes. I know maybe you're watching this video because you're having issues with this which I am familiar with some of these having issues with these guys it goes into limp mode and all sorts of things start to happen. So uh, if that's why you're watching, then we'll, we'll get to it and we'll figure out how to change this thing out. So basically sprayed it in there, soaked it in real good and took a paper towel. You can see the stuff I'm getting off here. This is a uh, truck's got almost 160,000 miles on it. So if you've got more miles than that and this has never been done, you could probably guess the kind of uh, dirt and grime. Just get in here, clean it off really good. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but I'll pause the video. Considering in one of my videos I broke something trying to do it one-handed. We'll do this um, <laughs> two hands. All right, so now, got it cleaned up. You can still see some of this crap in here, but uh, I might try to get a little bit better here in a minute when I'm not have the video going. And now all we're going to do is we're going to take off these little guys. Flat tip screwdriver. Pop them off. Oops, sorry about that. Finger in the way. Pop them off with the screwdriver. Uh, and then put on the new one. Alright, so I've got the old one off. Uh, here's the old one. And uh, I don't know how to tell if they're bad or not, but... Uh, anyway, the new kit comes with a little gasket. It goes around the outside here. You can see and it comes with the new clips. So we're going to get this new gasket in here. 
and then we are going to set it up on here. Notice this little point here fits, this is the old one, but it fits right inside of here to this little guy. So something to be conscious of when you're putting it on there, make sure that these things go together the right way. All right, little thing that I did to make sure I got this lined up. This is the new one. I got the new gasket in here. Uh, to get these two things lined up, I basically pushed on. Uh, if you push this, it'll open and close. It's like this. You can see it's moving this. It changes the orientation of this little guy. And that's what you kind of want to do to get this lined up the right way. So just as you're fitting this on there, don't force it on just try to get it on there and then move that little throttle plate until it lines up with the little notch inside of here this is the old one but line up with that little notch there and then you'll be on the money ready to go all right got the new one on all nice and neat and brand new looks shiny uh, these you just get them started up here at the top and then push them down with your thumb I went around with the back of my screwdriver and just kind of tapped on them a little bit make sure that they were on there good uh, I'm gonna make sure I got this all cleaned up I'm gonna bolt it back on and should be good to go after that I'm gonna let this uh, truck kind of run down this uh, battery a little bit it's internal ECM battery so hopefully reset everything and uh, go from there because there is a warning that talks about like being careful uh, that the ECM knows that it's got a new sensor and all that stuff but uh best i can tell as long as that battery's unplugged uh it'll relearn itself so if it doesn't i'll make a comment and say it didn't work for me but uh we'll see what happens as always thanks for watching hopefully this helps somebody out there uh if it did of course give it a like subscribe if you got com comments or questions or whatever uh i'll answer any questions the best of my ability and uh, we'll catch you later.